You want to seek him while he may be found. Because the time has come. And, and you know what? There can be a time that comes when God just doesn't give you softness of conscience anymore. Like you hear the Bible and it does nothing to you. You're just insensitive. Your conscience is dead. Your heart is hard. And God, you think God can't give you over to that? God hardened the heart of Pharaoh. You see, don't think, listen, he knows when people are exposed to the truth and yet they just go on with their life, not calling on him, not seeking him. Now I want you to think about this. Those of you who are true Christians, born again, regenerated by the Holy Spirit, you know your life after conversion. You know the passion, the desire you have for the word of God, the people of God, for prayer and fasting. You know what it's like to wake up before the sun is up just to crack that book and to pray to your Lord. Everyone else is asleep in the house, but you're up, seeking him because he's all you have. You know that feeling as a true believer because everyone who possesses the Holy Spirit has it. Now imagine if God in an instant hardened your heart and darkened your eyes so that you did not care anymore, and little by little you began to creep back into the world. The true Christian understands how absolutely terrifying that is. That's the worst thing that could ever happen to a true believer. Now we know that God finishes the work he began, but I'll be honest, when I first read about what happened to King Saul, how God darkened his mind and his understanding, that scared me a little bit because Saul had truly been converted, 1 Samuel 10, 9. But see, it wasn't just the fact that the Lord hardened Saul's heart. 1 Samuel 16, 14 says, Now the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and a harmful spirit from the Lord tormented him. When I first read that, I had to stop, put the Bible down, and contemplate what I had just read because I was shocked. Now imagine that happening to a true Christian, a true believer. But see, this is the thing. The glorious thing about the possibility of that happening to a true believer is this. It makes the true believer want to cling to Christ even more. Because I'm not letting go of Jesus for anything. I'm not going back to the world. I'm not going back to what I was before I was converted. My prayer often is this. Lord, please don't take your hand off of me. Because if he did, if he did, I would go back to the world and so would you. Let me say that again. If he did, you would go back to the world. And here's the scariest thing about that reality. We would not know anything was wrong. So let this be a reminder that Christ is everything and that the free gift we have received is not to be taken for granted.